Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today I have prepared for you a really beautiful and colorful new art for a spring. Have a preview of it in here. Those pastel colors always look amazing and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. So let's start. Very delicate and pretty uh, flowers we are gonna do it like I really do love them so much and I will show you how to achieve this look. Uh, so we are gonna start with the ombre and the colors I want to use is 198. I choose like a stronger colors just so I can do the things in a one layer is much faster and then 239 and you can guys grab all those colors uh, from our website which uh, I always give you the link in the description of this video. Also before we start hit the share button pretty pretty please just so we can have a little bit more views. Um, I will really much appreciate it. Now I did grab the nail form and I've got some sponge which I have used to create the previous designs. I usually sort them on the back of the form so I can keep it for later on. And now what I'm doing is I'm just blending those colors with the sponge and I'm going up and down and on the sides. Because the colors we have choose are really strongly pigmented, uh, one layer is even too much for this design I would say. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to also remove the excess of the gel polish because the three colors blend perfectly together. Okay and then we are gonna give it a cure. Uh, in the meantime I will prepare the French gel because that's what we are gonna need for this design. So just a scoop of that and then a second scoop on the side. <coughs> Get rid of the sponge, we don't need it anymore plus a couple drops of the colors which we have used it, uh, for creating our background. So we've got those pink and let's do the orange one. Perfect, my ombre is cooked and I can just grab it. Um, without of even cleaning my brush, just remove the excess of the gel, I'm dipping it in, in the pink and in the orange. Quite a messy mixture, um, I just really want to have like a few different colors on my brush and then we are gonna start painting some uh, flowers. So on this one I want the flower to be there and what I'm doing is I'm just really touching with my brush as a one stroke level one brush uh, to create those petals. We have created the first one, dip in again. <clears throat> I'm just going over the same places and then I want another flower in here. Just the small touches of the brush. And then some sort of leaf or something in other places. So I could do something in here and I could do something there. And this, uh, this way we can cure our tip. Our next step is to grab the transfer foil gel and put it on the side when the tip is cooking and then grab some glitter. So we've got those uh, beautiful glitters, um, they are added on our website as well and I'm just gonna grab the ombre brush and I will wrap this in over a top coat. Uh, the reason why I want to apply the top coat is I want to have this look pretty layered so the flowers which are on the bottom I want them to be really at the bottom. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just applying the top coat so later on when I paint another row of the petals, uh, it will really look like they are uh, above it. I'm just dipping in my brush into the glitter and what I'm doing is I'm just brushing in some places those glitter uh, in there and what is happening like the glitter um, is so nice and sparkly and uh, because it's so fine we don't have to worry about filing it or sticking out. It goes on really nice and smooth. You can almost get like an um, a really interesting look with it, like almost a mermaid kind of thing. It doesn't work over the top coat, but I just thought for this design uh, it will save me so much time. So I have just wrapped this pretty glitter in and then I'm gonna cure it. And I also have done another tip. And we are just gonna do exactly the same steps in here, just a different placement of the flowers. 
Uh, so here I will want one in there. They are really abstract flowers. And honestly, guys, if you don't have that brush, you have to grab it because uh, it just makes your life easy. You can just really kind of touch it with it and it will create you some sort of design. Give it a flash cure. It was really just two, three seconds to freeze it. And then I can apply the top coat over it. That was actually really good freeze. Honestly, I, I cured it at like two seconds. And then wrap those glitter and you could also wrap the glitter um, over the inhibition layer of the gel polish. I just kind of want to have it more encapsulated inside. Let's cook it. Okay, next step. So because we have used those snow wipe top gel, uh, we have uh, not much of the inhibition layer, which is perfect for our next step. Okay. In addition, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe to it with the UV cleanser and grab the D-liner brush, which we will dip in into the uh, transfer foil gel. And what I want to do it is just find some places where we can place like a kind of line steam, I would say. So later on, we can add some flowers in there. There we are. And then inside, as well, just some gold going through it. Cure it. Just searching for those places where to place the gold. And cure it. The transfer uh, foil gel works fantastic and we will be able to get a really nice and clean uh, transfer. I've got the piece which I used for the previous uh, parts and what I'm doing is I'm just pressing over it um, to get our transfer foil into the flowers where we paint it. There we are, that is perfect. We can move on into the next one. And a tiny bit on here. Okay, our next step is to go back to our brush, the D-liner one, and then we are going to add some different type of flowers here. Just by doing uh, dots over the gold foil which we have painted. I want to do the darker and then going to the lighter color. So darker more and then more of a darker ones in here. Going into orange. Just lots of dots. And I'm trying to keep some places like um, the foil showing through it. Dip in in the white. And you can see it, it looks like a really beautiful flower. Just out from the dots. Okay, let's cure it. And just the same in here. Nice and fast. Orange. Try to don't cover the entire foil like we want some of it to be visible. And then white. Okay. 
give it a curl. Because we want the look to be layered like um, I'm gonna apply another top coat over it. So that will make the parts of the flowers which are on the bottom to be even more on the bottom. <laughs> And also, as you can see it, the glitter really nicely smooths out as well, so we don't have to do any buffing or anything like that. And then do it in here as well, like a lay layer, layer it look. And it looks quite complicated, but it's really not, because we are kind of painting an abstract flowers. Uh, you cannot go wrong, really, uh, with it. I'm not curing my top coat properly just because I want the next uh, layer of the um, flower petals to stick in well to it. And I'm just picking up the white and the orange. And we are going to do another row of the petals. So I'm just touching some places in here and painting another petals. And you can see the ones on the bottom are really on the bottom just because we have placed this top coat there. They kind of even not as sharp. Now I do not use the full brush like I did with the first petals. Now I'm just trying to work more with the tip of my brush rather than the full brush. And then give it a cure. I like to work on the two tips at the same time because when one is curing I can still keep showing you something. Uh, plus it is a slightly different design. Look at the difference in between the petals on the top and the bottom. Absolutely awesome way to create a pretty designs. Again, pick up the fresh color. Squeeze the petal here, even if it's just a tiny something. <laughs> and then in between those petals. I'm trying to don't cover the gold. Cook it. Final touches. And I had dilemma because like one side of me didn't want to even top coat them. Uh, I was thinking like I would um, do this part without of top coat, but then I just outline it with some white and I top coat it and the final look. But you could do it that way as well because the French gel can be used without of top coat and then it gives you even more 3D effect. Uh, um, so that's a wee tip for you guys as well. What I'm doing is I'm just touching up some places. Not too strongly, just a little bit. And look how romantic I would call it, like really romantic this design is. Yeah, that's plenty. Let's grab some white and do couple dots. Just to blend this gold. And this glitter looks so, so pretty, guys. Like, absolutely amazing when the lights hit it. Okay, let's cure it. But yeah, you have to really keep sharing those videos for me just so we can get a little bit more views, just to have the motivation. Um, you know, like when we put the video up, I kind of keep checking like how did it go and sometimes it kind of feels a bit, oh no, that was such a nice design, like why did it go? But I, I hope you will keep sharing this one because I think it's a really nice and pretty one for a spring. It is something different. Uh, I don't think so. I have seen anything like that. Uh, so, 
Yeah, it's almost like an fairy kind of land flowers. I really love that. Couple dots. And look how interesting the middle of this flower is with this uh, gold showing through it as well. Um, so basically now it's just a time for the top coat and then I can show you all of them together because uh, that's when the things looks even prettier. So let's top coat it. You definitely cannot go wrong with this design. And you could do it like the entire set of the nails with French and then this design on the ring and the middle finger. Or you could do it on a um, simple yellow color, this design on the uh, on those two fingers, or just a pink, or the ombre uh, itself. That will look really nice too. Let's cook this one. And I'm not going to shorten, shorten the curing time. So pretty, like really exotic looking spring flowers. They could do for a summer as well. <laughs> and I also get the clients which want flowers in the winter as well, so... Flowers are so universal and they always look so pretty. There we are. Let's cook it and then, then check all the designs which we have done today. So we've got those two. Yet another one for collection. Absolutely amazing. I could actually wear it on my nails as well. Like look at the sparkle. I'll try to show you from different angles. And then the last one. Okay, and it's time to send you huge glittery hugs and I will see you in the next video.